Hello, my name is Cesar. I'm one of the co-founders at Latitude. Latitude is a prompt engineering platform that lets you build your prompt in a version controlled environment. It lets you track all of the requests that go through to your LLM so that you can keep track of the cost, the latency, the messages sent and so on through our observability tools. And we also let you test your prompts at scale, both in batch before shipping to production and also while they're running in production. Today I'm going to be focusing on the evaluation side of things and I'm going to be showing you how to test in batch your prompts before making the final decision of shipping this um, as a feature into your product. So for this example, I already have a prompt written right here. Uh, I'm using the model GPT-40 for this one. And what this does is basically it takes the score and the message from a net promoter score survey that we show to our users, and it tries to categorize the sentiment in one of these categories um, so that we can do um, analysis after this, after receiving the feedback, uh, and understand well where uh, do we have the more shortcomings or where uh, our product is working the best. Um, so. To test this out, I have a couple inputs available here. These come from basically this bracket syntax that we have here in our prompt. So this is the score, this is the message. I'm just gonna uh, say 10 as a score. Usually goes from one to 10 uh, in this type of survey. And the message is gonna be, uh, the product is awesome. I love the UX. So now, if I run the prompt, we're just gonna compile the final version of the message that we're sending as a system message. Um, so in this case, you can see the score here, you can see the message right here, and this is the final generation from GPT-40, which matches one of the categories that we had in our list right here. Perfect, so now I just tested this. Um, you're probably used to testing prompts manually like this in like OpenAI's Playground or uh, similar products to that, uh, but what we allow you to do is actually test this at scale before shipping. So to do so, I'm gonna go into the evaluation tab. I already have an evaluation connected. Um, I'm gonna show you what it looks like very briefly uh, so that you understand. Um, so in this case, if I go to the evaluation, you'll see that it's actually another prompt. Um, in this case, I tell the LLM, which is actually GPT-40 mini, because for evaluations, uh, you can use smaller models, which are also cheaper. Um, because they tend to do a better job um, than if they had to do it from zero. So in this case, we sent it the uh, different categories that we had in our other prompt and an evaluation task um, where we ask whether the categorization is correct. Um, we give it a range from one to five um, so that we know more or less where we stand. And uh, we also give it an example and the type of result or output that we want. So in this case, we want both the result, which is a number, and a reason for uh, this result in this evaluation, which is different from the original prompt. Um, I'm going to go back to where I was, to the evaluation page. And here you can already see some results because I've been testing this out uh, before recording this video. I'm going to move this back over here. Um, but uh, let's go through the process of running a batch evaluation. So a batch evaluation is basically we want to test as many versions of this prompt as possible before making the decision and, and being sure of shipping this to production. So to do so, um, we need to feed some data into the prompt to fill out the variables that we have, both the score and the message um, or the user feedback. So I'm going to show you what that looks like because you do that through data sets. If we go into the data sets section of your workspace, you'll see that we have an NPS feedback sample with 100 rows. I'll show you what that looks like. It's basically a score and a message. And we have some variability here of answers. I actually generated with uh, this with ChatGPT. Um, so you can also do that and test your prompt in a, with a bit more variation that you can do manually um, one by one. So this is what the data set looks like. Let's go back to our project, to our evaluation. And let's just click the button Run Batch Evaluation. It's going to ask you to pick a data set. In this case, uh, I'm going to choose NPS Feedback Sample. Instead of 100 lines, let's do 20, for example, so that it goes faster. And then um, what you have to do is um, map the parameters that you have in your, uh, in your prompt, the inputs, to the columns in your CSV or your data set. So in this case, score is score. 
message this message and then if I click run evaluations you'll see that the process starts and what this is doing is basically it's compiling um, one prompt for every row that you have in, the, in your data set it's sending the entire thing to your LLM um, as per your prompt and then it's logging the request and then it's running the evaluation prompt on top of that log. So as you can see, we already have our results right here. And well, um, some of them are not really correct. Let's uh, find out what happened. If you click on the log, on the evaluation log, you'll see both the result, uh, as we saw in the JSON that I just showed you, and the reasoning for it. So in this case, it says the feedback mentions that the product, that the product is reliable, which aligns with, with performance and reliability, but it also highlights that it is packed with useful features, which is more closely related to product features and functionality. So the categorization is partially correct, but not fully accurate. And this is something very important about the valuations. So maybe in this case, if we check the original uh, log, so we can see the actual messages. In this case, the score was 10. The, uh, message was the product is fantastic, reliable, and packed with useful features. So in this case, this feedback actually um, fits within some of these categories. So that's where you can see the shortcomings of your prompt. So maybe in this case, instead of just requesting one category, in, instead of asking the LLM to categorize into just one category, um, you might want to iterate your prompt um, so that it supports multiple categories for messages like this. And um, there's no other way of learning about this unless you have an evaluation system in place. Um, as you can see, it's very easy to set up. You just need a data set. Um, you just need the actual prompt. And then with a few clicks, you're running as many evaluations as you need to make sure that your prompt is correct. And that's all. I hope this was useful. And um, see you around. Thank you.